Welcome to Alphabet City. This is the show that covers everything related to Alphabet Inc. Alphabet is probably best known as Google's parent company. I'm your guide, Ayaz Akhtar, and you are the fantastic Alphabet citizens. Today, we're focusing on Google. We're sorry, Loon, X, and Waymo. We've got several upcoming Android phones, Google's plans for China, and your comments. But first, there's a conspiracy afoot. Let's head on over to Pixel Park. So we've been covering the upcoming Pixel 3 for a while now, but recently a new conspiracy theory has popped up. A fellow on YouTube by the name of John Prosser says that Google contacted him to use a piece of one of his videos. So why does that matter? The clip Google wanted to use has Prosser saying, quote, Google should fire its design team. This has to do with the Pixel 3 XL. The clip would be used in the opener for the Google event on October 9th. Likely that one clip would be one of many that discusses the new Pixel and its leaks. That seems a little odd, right? Why would Google request potentially negative comments before introducing its new phones? Some think that Google is going to surprise everyone with a device that has not been one we've seen. It's been dubbed the Pixel Ultra. A lot of people are dismissing the idea of a surprise Pixel. However, there was a report by noted leaker Elder Mertazen that was published a while ago. In it, he said Google was working on seven smartphones. Two were the third gen pixels that we've been seeing floating around. Four other models would also be updated pixels. Mertazen said by October, two of those four would also be ready. He guessed that Google may have leaked the ones we've seen to gauge reaction. If it was met with negative responses, Google could release the other models. Google has also put up some teasers for its next phones. One site has the number three on it. It's at the Google store. Then there's this teaser at coming soon 2018 JP dot with google.com. Clicking the G changes the colors of things. Click it again and confetti drops. Some are guessing that there are three different colors for the Pixel 3, a white one, a black one, and a mint green one. No word if the Pixel 3 will ship with confetti. Chrome Unboxed published images of what could be a new Pixel book. The site received the images by an email tipster who said he saw the pics on Facebook as an ad. The notebook looks to be running Chrome OS and has a very, very thin bezel around the screen. Is this really a new Pixel book or is it just a Photoshop job for an ad? We'll find out soon enough. And now it's the news you've been waiting for. Try to contain your excitement. You ready? Google has released an updated USB-C headphone adapter. Amazing, right? In itty bitty little text, Google wrote, quote, adapter now provides 38% more playback time and has a 53% improvement on plug-in latency than previously available Pixel 2 headphone adapter. How in the world was that not in huge text? It's earth shattering news. It can be yours for the low, low price of 1,200 cents. Enjoy your dongles, people. Let's head on over to Uptown Updates. This is the newly renamed segment where we put together a bunch of smaller news stories. Thanks to Reginald for coming up with a better name than my lame Update Street. Yeah, I came up with that one. OnePlus is dropping the headphone jack on the next OnePlus headset. In an interview with TechRadar, OnePlus's co-founder Carl Pei says they're making the switch because the company found that 59% of OnePlus owners already owned wireless headphones. Pay says, quote, we believe now is the right time as it'll benefit the majority of our users while keeping the downside low. OnePlus also announced is getting into the TV business. We'll have to see if they go with Android TV as the interface or not. Details are expected early next year, according to PC Mag. Samsung is holding a Galaxy event on October 11th. The invite says 4X fun. The text below says Samsung's newest Galaxy device is bringing more ways to express yourself than ever before. Capture the fun with Samsung as the company celebrates the launch of the new device with a Galaxy event. So that probably means four cameras on the back. We'll see. Razer and LG will also be introducing new Android phones soon. Razer is holding the event on October 10th, while LG will introduce the V40 ThinQ with potentially five cameras on October 3rd. A New York Post report says a Long Island woman is suing Samsung over a potentially faulty Galaxy Note 9. She claims that the phone became extremely hot. The plaintiff then put the Note 9 in her purse. Then she heard whistling and screeching sounds. That was followed by thick smoke coming from her purse. The phone eventually stopped smoking after another person wound up taking the Note 9 and putting it in a bucket of water. 
A Samsung spokesperson told the Post that, quote, we have not received any reports of similar incidents involving a Galaxy Note 9 device, and we are investigating the matter. The Samsung Galaxy Note 7 was famously recalled twice due to defective batteries, which led to devices catching fire. The Note 7 was then discontinued before being revived as the Galaxy Note Fan Edition. Let's go to the Garden of Google. The Intercept published a report talking about Google's plans to build a censored version of its search engine for China. According to the report, the search engine codenamed Dragonfly would run on Android devices. A number of items would be blacklisted from search results, including Nobel Prize, student protest, and human rights. On top of that, the Intercept sources say that Dragonfly linked the app to the Android phone and phone number. So that would mean users of Dragonfly would be easily trackable. Dragonfly would be the product of a joint venture partnership between Google and a Chinese company. BuzzFeed News reports that seven employees have left Google over, quote, a lack of corporate transparency, end quote. The site says people had left Google particularly over Dragonfly. The Intercept published a report about a senior Google scientist by the name of Jack Paulson who quit over Dragonfly. In an interview, he said it was his ethical responsibility to resign in protest of the forfeiture of our public human rights commitments. Google has been facing scrutiny by the U.S. government as well. The company failed to send Google CEO Sundar Pichai or Alphabet CEO Larry Page to a recent Senate hearing. In other Google news, a bunch of people were online complaining that battery saver mode would somehow be activated on their Android devices even if they turned off the feature themselves. Google posted a response on Reddit and said, the company was doing an internal experiment to test battery saving features. The only problem was it was rolled out to more users than intended by mistake. The company says it's put the settings back to default and apologized for the confusion. Fun, fun, fun. I know. Let's go to Comment Cove. This is the part of the show where we shine a spotlight on the most amazing audience in the world. You guys. Move my arms too early, that one. In a previous episode, I asked you, what do you use your Wear OS devices for? Here's what you had to say. DeAndre says, I use my Wear OS watch for calls when I'm not near my phone. Wi-Fi calling has improved so much. Calvin explained he uses his watch when he runs. He doesn't like carrying his phone when he goes for a jog. On top of that, he can use his S3 to pay for items without needing to carry a wallet. Now, those are really good use cases. Thanks. You know, I really wish you could use one of the watches like a key to get into my apartment. It'd be awesome. DDS Word Saint 5 says, why are you guys always so late to the news? Well, DDS, this is a weekly recap show. Like I've said in the past, check out CNET's 359 podcast for tech news daily. Or you could always check out Daily Tech News Show with my pals Tom Merritt and Sarah Lane, where they cover tech news daily. Thanks to everyone for writing in. If you've enjoyed your stay in Alphabet City, please like and subscribe. I'm Aya Zaktar, and I'll see you online. It's now time for the shout outs. Hello to Jessica, Anch Creations, Carlos, also known as Android Boy, Angelo, and Tylen. 